This is Biz Intelligence. Welcome to one more video of 3 minute tips where I am going to take you through the steps to consolidate data from multiple sheet of Excel in Power BI. I have sales data file on my screen where I have sale data for 3 different years for 2010, 12 and 13. You can see the data set is same, fields are same across these 3 data sets. So we are going to consolidate data from these 3 sheets in Power BI. So let's go to Power BI desktop. Let's select Excel because our data source is in Excel. Let's select the file. Once you select the file, navigator window will show you the list of data sets available in that selected file. So you can select any of these data sets and click on transform data. It will take you to Power Query editor window where we can transform our data. You can see these four default steps are applied on your data set. What we are going to do is we will click on this. We will right click on this navigation step and click on delete until end. This means that we want to delete all the steps except source step. Here you can see the data sets of this file. If you click here, you can see the data resides in that table. So you can see this is the data of this table. You can see that header row is not applied here. So we want to consider first row of each of these data sets as header row. Before I move ahead with the next step, if you are new on my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. For that, let's go to bottom of this video and you can see subscribe button here. Click on the subscribe button and also click on this bell icon. That will not cost you anything, but it will give you notifications whenever we upload new video on our channel. Also do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends that will motivate us to keep producing such useful videos on our channel. To enable that let's go to this formula bar of source step. Click on this down arrow and here you see the value for promote headers is null. We will type true and hit enter. That means yes we want to consider first row as a header row for each of these data sets and if you click again here you will be able to see now the first row is considered as headers row. Now I am going to retain this field and will give name as data here so, and I will click on this field right click here and I will remove rest of the columns because we don't need them. Here you can see the expand button that means we can expand this field and whatever data resides in that table will also get expand below each other. So let's click here and you can see the list of fields available in those data sets. You can make selection as per your choice. If you want specific fields then you can select those. You need to make sure that you don't select this use original column name as prefix because we don't want the original column name as prefix in front of these field names. So untick this option and click on OK. And boom your data is consolidated you can see now the next step is assigning a proper data type to these fields so this has to be a text field this one has to be text field so select both of these right click here go to change type and select text this should also be a text field right click here go to change type and click on text to convert this as a text field here this needs to be a date field but you can see it is marked as date and time alphanumeric field so we will right click on this field let's go to change type and we will convert it into date let's give a meaningful name to this data set and now let's go to home tab and click on close and apply to load this data consolidated data in power bi data model this is pretty much easy and simple to consolidate data from multiple sheets in power bi hope you like this video subscribe to my channel and click on like button 